Welcome to the Necklace 11 X12 technology. Today we are looking at the Gigabyte GA-Z68XP-UD4 motherboard which uses the LGA1155 socket. Here once again it says it's the Gigabyte Z68XP-UD4 motherboard with tons of features to offer, like the touch bias which uses the hybrid EFI technology. So what's advertised here is the Intel Smart Response technology. This board is using the Z68 chipset which supports the Lucid Virta technology. AMD Crossfire X and Nvidia SLI support it of course. The rest basically shows the good components that were used for this board and all the performance features this board actually offers. On the back of the box you get the CD motherboard layout and some more feature descriptions that go into detail. So altogether the box looks pretty nice with that shiny green Z. Inside of the box you find the IO shield which is black and color coordinated. Very nice work there Gigabyte. Then there's a warning that basically tells you to not install a LG1156 CPU and a LG1155 socket. Then there's one Nvidia SLI bridge in black which looks very nice. Also you get 4 black SATA 6 gigabit per second cables and your Dolby Home Theater sticker. Of course there's the manual with the drivers inside. Quick installation notes and an installation guide for the Intel Smart Response technology which can be very useful. Here's your multilingual installation guidebook. And then, the best for the end, the motherboard itself in an anti-static bag. Right off the bat I noticed that this board feels durable. The PCB is hard and will not be bent that easy. I really like the color scheme on this board. Black and green colors just look strong. The two heat sinks look very durable and overall the layout is great. It actually looks very tidy and elegant. This motherboard uses the LG1155 socket that supports the second generation of Intel Core i3, i5 and i7 processors, but it will also support Intel's upcoming Ivy Bridge processors. Also the board has a 16 phase power design which is great and should be very precise. You get 4 DIMMs that support the dual channel technology. The maximum amount of memory you can install is 32GB. Supported frequencies go all the way up from 1066MHz to 2133MHz and of course the Intel Extreme Memory Profile technology also known as XMP is supported. This board offers 8 SATA ports. The 4 black ones are SATA 3 gigabit per second ports that run off the Intel Z68 chipset. The 2 white ones are SATA 6 gigabit per second ports that run off the Z68 chipset as well. And the two grey ones are SATA 6 gigabit per second ports that run off the third party Marvel chip. Now to the expansion slots. Let's start with the PCI Express slots. The first one is a PCI Express 2.0 slot that runs at X16. Then the second one is a PCI Express 2.0 slot as well but it runs at X8. When using Crossfire or SLI both slots will run at X8. Then there also are two PCI Express 2.0 X1 slots. And lastly the two standard PCI slots. Now to the headers. Right here is the color coordinated front panel header. Then the TPM header, one USB 3.0 header and three USB 2.0 headers. Of course the comma and one IEE 1394A header. Lastly you got the SPDIF out and front panel HD audio headers. This motherboard features two BIOS chips that are located near the memory slots. So when flashing the BIOS and something goes wrong, the backup BIOS chip will automatically transfer the pre-installed BIOS back to the main BIOS chip and your motherboard is saved. So in my opinion it's a great feature. Also the onboard sound is delivered by the Realtek ALC889 audio codec which works great and is almost as good as the sound card. The 24 pin power connector is right here in its ideal location as well as the ATX 12 volt 8 pin power connector up there. This board offers 4 fan headers. The system fan 1 header is located up there near the 8 pin power connector. Then right here is the CPU fan header. The power fan header is near the 24 pin power connector and the last one is the system fan 2 header which is near the SATA ports. Now to the rear I.O. You get one PS2 combo port, two USB 2.0 ports, one optical SPDIF out and one coaxial SPDIF out port, one IEEE 1394A or Firewire port, one USB 2.0 and one eSATA USB combo port. Then two more USB 2.0 ports and one eSATA 6 gigabit per second port. Right here are two USB 3.0 ports and underneath is the HDMI port. And two USB 2.0 ports and one gigabit LAN port. 
And lastly, the six 8-channel audio jacks that are powered by the Realtek ALC889 audio codec. The VRMs will stay very cool with that heatsink that rests on top, connected with a heat pipe. The chipset will stay very cool as well. I really like the design of the heatsinks. It looks tidy, durable and the color matches perfectly with the PCB and components. This motherboard boots up very quickly and doesn't dual or triple boot. This is the startup screen of the motherboard. Now I'd like to show you the bias. It isn't an UEFI bias so there is no fancy graphical user interface but it's an EFI bias so it supports the latest standards nobody could actually say that this board doesn't have an EFI bias it's just the user interface gigabyte didn't change which is okay in my opinion it's a very responsive bias and has tons of options and possibilities great monitoring and in my opinion it's easy to use but if you don't think so, then you could also try using the touch bias. It basically is the bias, but you control it in the operating system. You get all the features just with better graphical user interface. There's just one thing I maybe should mention. If you have high profile memory and a huge CPU cooler, then the memory could interfere with the CPU cooler. In my case, it's very, very close. The heat spreaders of the memory are already touching the CPU cooler. It's very close, but it works. I just wanted to give a little word of a warning there. Now here's my system with this motherboard. As you can see, it's filled to the maximum. I'm sorry for a cable mess, but lots of cables are needed and I didn't find a place to hide them better. But still, the motherboard isn't too small and also not too big. The Gigabyte GA-Z68XP-UD4 motherboard has lots of features and is very durable. It doesn't have an UEFI bias but it has the EFI technology so it supports the latest standards. I haven't experienced any problems at all and it really performs great. Pros are great layout, tons of features, then the dual bias feature, also it's very durable and I love the beautiful color scheme. Cons are few accessories that come with the box and high profile memory could interfere with large CPU coolers. And that's it, I give this motherboard a 9 out of 10 and definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching.